John Piper with the weekend video and the Saturday the 10th of June and I thought I'd start with a pound dollar today as uh, we had the UK election which was a bit of an unmitigated disaster I think. Um, the problem is that uh, Brexit, I was in favour of Brexit but uh, I was making the assumption that there'd be strong hands at the tiller who would uh, deal with the negotiations uh, in a good way, a sound way. Uh, we now have a situation where that isn't quite the case. Now, in, in fact, uh, a strong negotiator um, with the right frame of mind can turn these kind of things to their advantage. I mean, if you're in a ne negotiation, if you have to keep running back to your masters, as it were, to get clarification of points, then you can't actually agree to anything. Um, and that can be a negotiating advantage, in fact. Um, but clearly the situation is hardly ideal. Um, but let's have a look at this chart of uh, pound-dollar, which uh, has got a few things to say, I think. Uh, for example, we have the peak here. This is uh, back in 2008. And we saw this big decline, which may be an ABC. Uh, we then had that triangle I was talking about at the time. Quite a large triangle. I was expecting it to break the down, so we got that, but it actually failed. So I count that as an A, A, A the triangle, and B, then a C to there. Um, this retracement was uh, about 64%. Um, sorry, the level here uh, was 64% uh, of, of the high, so about a Fibonacci, 38.2%. And we've now got the peak around here, about 1.72, and a similar decline. Uh, so 38.2%, get back to where I was, 38.2% down there, ABC, 32% down there, it takes about 1.105, so about parity. Um, and we do have a 1, 2, well, 1, 2, 3, 4 maybe, uh, fifth wave, fourth wave, and a fifth. So I think it's quite likely we're going to see parity against the dollar. So uh, we had the peak here at 2, 1, and 50%, 50, a 50% retracement is 1.105. So I think this is not over yet. Um, but we could be close to a bounce, but I think there's more downside to come in the short term. Uh, so that's pound dollar. All right, pound euro, it's not, not a monthly chart. Um, this is a peak back in 2000. Um, a, B, C, followed by another A, B, C. Uh, now this could be another leg down coming in. If so, the conclusion of this chart are rather concerning because this is a pretty substantial decline. Let's work out the percent. Well, this is a 42% decline off the top. Uh, and 42% off here would take us down to, uh, I think, quite frightening levels. Let me just check that. It's only about 84 cents, uh, so the pound uh, euro would be, uh, well, the euro would be stronger than the pound if that happened. Um, I'm hoping this won't happen, um, but you know, the charts, well, what would what, what, be good to see would be a very strong bounce around the parity level from the pound euro. Um, so this could become some kind of A, B, and then a C wave, perhaps. Um, but I think there is a, a risk, given what's happening, uh, that we could see a somewhat different picture. So uh, that, that's one thought for the weekend. All right, Gold has uh, seen a pullback from the 1300 level. Uh, also, this other high here, so quite strong resistance. That was quite likely to happen. Quite sharp, though. Um, we're still above the 200-day moving average at this point in time. Uh, depends on if it breaks below there, that would be of concern. Um, if it doesn't, then that would be that would be encouraging for a break. The breakthrough I'm looking for. All right, FTSE. Um, saw the peak around uh, just below 7.6. Looks like an ABC decline. In the event, there's a case. This is, this is an important peak, but no real confirmation of the fall was seen. Um, the election result was taken positively, but that may have more to do with the fact that uh, sterling was a lot weaker, so maybe foreign people are buying in uh, because of that. Uh, if we see another, another leg down, that could be of some concern, but uh, right now it's un unclear, basically. Similar option on the DAX, really, we saw this peak at uh, 12,880. Um, ABC, uh, no, that, that's, so that's a just key support level. Um, but this doesn't look too strong at the moment, so it may be that uh, we're going to break down there, but again, inconclusive at the moment. Now, the Nasdaq's interesting. Uh, this is Nasdaq 100, and this is the monthly chart again. Um, one, two, three, 
four. So this is the fifth wave we're we're in at the moment, uh, starting with the 2009 low. So massive fifth wave. Let's go down a few levels. This is the daily chart, starting from around the fifth wave started from below 4,000. So we've got one, two, one, two. Uh, then we can count this as a one, two, one, two, three, four, three, four, five. This could be the peak um, of wave three. I mean that these these fourth waves are quite subnormal compared to the, these these waves here. Those are quite large waves. These are fairly small waves. Um, but certainly this decline is uh, uh, it's quite important with the majors. Uh, I think uh, some of the bigger companies have slipped back. How to see how this has develops. Um, decent buying spike there, but you know quite a big fall very quickly. Uh, came in late, late on Friday. Um, had to had to monitor that, but certainly that this could be an important peak. Uh, it may only be a wave four given the count, um, but it should be quite a serious affair. Um, had had to monitor it uh, carefully. All right, finally, a quick word on Bitcoin, which is now making new highs around 2.8. Uh, with gold failing, uh, with uh, the Nasdaq falling back, currencies again, well, the pound certainly not suffering. Um, I think it only helped Bitcoin really. You know, the thing is uh, just shooting ahead, uh, no sign of stopping the the smaller the smaller currencies, of which there are, well, I think 10 or 20, which are, are of interest. I'm in about 10, I think, so far. Um, I'll continue to, to multiply the, the gains of Bitcoin if that's if you if you can believe that. Um, anyway, uh, I'm planning to sort of do a report on this, which I'm going to get out in the next uh, next few weeks. But if anybody has any any questions, uh, please uh, please feel free to ask. Well, on that note, I'll say uh, hope you found that interesting and useful. Um, back with a report on Tuesday morning for subscribers. Have a great day. Thanks for listening. So have a great weekend. Um, thanks for listening, and bye for now.